Hi guys, um, I'm going to be recreating a look by uh, Ina from her new video, India. Very um, sultry, simple, black eyeliner, black eyeshadows, grays, and red lipstick. Pretty simple, pretty basic, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, the first thing I like to start out with is my eyes. That's my favorite thing to do, so um, before I start, I'm going to go ahead and put some white just translucent powder underneath my eyes to catch fallout. Just so that we can just kind of like swipe it away when we're not coming on. Just so we can swipe it away so that it's not smudged all up underneath your eye. Um, I'm going to use, use my e.l.f. I have a primer. I never used to use primer before. I used to use um, concealer on the, my eyelids before I started using this stuff. But I find that this stuff is really good. I'm going to go ahead and put that all over. Okay. All right. And I'm going to start using I'm going to use this color here. It's a uh, it's a very dark gray, uh, shimmery, almost black. Um, it's from uh, LA Colors. Nothing nothing too crazy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take the uh, the gray and I'm just going to go ahead and put it all over my eyelid. I'm just going to cover it, the whole lid, up until uh, the crease, um, because after I get all the colors that I need to get on my eye, I'm going to go ahead and blend it out. Be generous with it, because um, you're going for a very deep, dark, and sultry look. So, I like to put a lot <laughs> on my eye. Bear with me, guys. This is, is my first video, so testing out a few things. Okay, so now that we get all of the um, the dark gray on my whole eyelid up to the crease, I'm just going to make sure there's um, enough by the uh, lashes. Okay, so now that we have that done, um, the next color that I'm going to go ahead and use, and bear with the fact that there's powder all over it, um, I'm going to use this uh, matte black, matte black, and this is just from a palette that I had got at Claire's. It's again nothing special. It's a bunch of different colors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to basically create a nice arch in my eye um, to give it a, more of a sultry look. So. Go. And I'm just going to like, you know, make like a V basically to the crease. Okay. And if you see the, uh, the definition there. And we're going to blend all that out so it's not going to, it's not going to stay like that. And we're going to blend it out and make it very, uh, smoky. And um, while I put this on, I kind of like to blend it into the gray, um, just so it, you know, has a, just kind of fades into uh, the look that it's supposed to fade into, so. All right. All right, so now that we have, um, we have the uh, black and the gray on, uh, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to take uh, what I use to blend. <laughs> it's not a blending brush, but I, I use what I have. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to blend 
that color into my brow bone um, and just kind of get it up there, just kind of fade it in as far as possible up. Um, and get it to just kind of turn into the smoky look. Um, sometimes what I like to do is I like to go ahead and pick up a little bit more of the uh, actual jet uh, matte black that I use to put it on the brush and just kind of uh, blend it in as well and just get it up in there. Kind of gives it more an intensifying blend. Okay. And we're going to do it on the other one as well. So now that we have it kind of like blended in, it still looks a little bit intense, but again, bear with me. It won't look that way. <laughs> and now what I'm going to also um, use now is a shimmery white. Basically, I'm going to use the shimmery right here. This is, uh, I do believe this is an LA Colors palette as well. I just think it rubbed off on the front. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go ahead and take that white. I'm going to go ahead and load it on my brush. And we're going to highlight. Put it on the uh, brow bone to give it a good highlight. And when you uh, blend it together, it kind of tends to make a little bit of a grayness. Obviously, white, black, make gray. So it's a very And then what I like to also do is I like to take a little bit of that white that I just put on my uh, on my brow bone, and I like to go ahead and uh, highlight the waterline. Mm. It gives it a little bit more of a of a pop to the eye. That is the uh, initial look to it. Now, if anything um, looks unblended, go ahead and just blend it all in, make it look pretty. And um, pretty much that's about it for the eyeshadow as far as uh, the blending stuff. What I like to do sometimes, actually, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add another white shimmer. Because I find that this white that I just used is not as shimmery as I'd like it to be. It's supposed to be dramatic, so... I'm going to take another white that I have here. Um, this is uh, Fusion. Save it. <laughs> um, and I'm just going to go ahead and put it on my brow bone. And it actually is highlighting a lot better, giving it more of an intensifying uh, highlight. So we're going to just do that up here. So there is the final product of the eyeshadow blending. And then we're just going to go ahead and take the, our brush and just brush away. Um, I know the, I put the white powder on my face, so that way just it's simple as one, two, three. Um, I hate it when I forget to do that and I do eyeshadow and it's like stuck to my face and gets stuck into your uh, foundation.